Today is September 11th, 2013, and this is the Charlie Maverick Show, and we are talking about Breaking Bad and Dexter, two of the best shows that have ever come on TV in our lifetime. And I have a guest today. Welcome to the world! My fiance, love my life, April Parker. Say hi to America. Hi, America. Welcome back to the Charlie Maverick Show. It is September 11th. Ah, uh, what is it? Ah, uh, man, it's been like uh, 12 years since September 11th, 2001. Crazy day. Still uh, doing moments of silence and stuff. Uh, people that are in the armed forces are, you know, tweeting great things of how they served during that time. People are remembering lost lives. RIP to everyone that uh, lost their life in 2001. So it's life we move on, and we are here to talk about Breaking Bad and Dexter. Two of the greatest shows I've ever witnessed in my lifetime, and I hope that you feel the same way. Now, both shows are about to go off TV, final seasons, which is kind of bittersweet. It's great shows, very climactic. And you just don't want to see it go. Now, I don't know if we have ever seen a time like this where we've had two shows that are so popular and so successful that reach the end of their run and we're all on the edge of our seat and we just know that the ending is going to be great. We, we just know the ending is going to be great. Now, first of all, we'll talk about Breaking Bad, because the majority of people um, have at least seen Breaking Bad are, are almost, or not almost, caught up enough to where they can have a conversation about Breaking Bad. Now, we are on the second half of season five, and there's only, what, three episodes left, right? At least so. All right. And correct me if I'm wrong, so the, the last episode was... Uh, where there was a shootout with, with Hank and, and the Nazis and Jesse sitting in the car and Walt in the car, like, getting bullets thrown at him. It seemed like it was, um, it reminded me of, of when we saw the, the pictures of, of Biggie's SUV getting shot up. It was, like, holes everywhere. And, and Walt is in there, like, pleading for his life, like, trying to duck down as far as he can so he doesn't get killed. Jesse for some reason, is trying to get out of the car. Hank and, uh, uh, what was his name? Go, uh, is it Gomez? Something like that. Uh, uh -huh. Funny name. I, I don't know if it's Gomez or not, but anyway. Then he got the Nazis on the other side, which Hank told them not to come. But they came anyway. And, and he kind of felt, you kind of felt that Man. they were going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, the look on this dude's face, like, this dude's going to cook. Wait, we got to go save his life. Why did he all of a sudden say that he's not in distress, but he needed a stress call to come get him? They were coming anyway. You kind of you kind of saw that coming, right? Mm -hmm. Now, my question is, with, with uh, three episodes left, what's going to happen? It is... Is somebody going to get killed in this next episode? Because they can't just shoot at each other and nobody dies, right? My, my guess is that Hank may die. I, I'm hoping he doesn't because I'm assuming he's the one to take Walt down. But the show is it's about shock and awe. Right. Things you won't expect. Uh, for instance, I did not expect Walt to be the one to poison that little boy. I was like, oh. Uh, that he, what, he the devil for that? I was like... Well, well, it ain't shit for that. Like, wow, okay. Yeah. So, being that they are about shock and awe, they may kill Hank to push him over the edge. Ah. Uh, now, in a way, Hank does have it coming. And, and I can understand why they would kill him off the show. Because of the fact that he's on another show, The Dome. Which is on another channel. So he's trying to he's trying to segue out of before he gets typecast of being on this great show, right? 
so I can see why he would get killed. But I hope not. I, I hope that he he doesn't get killed yet. Now, uh, his friend, uh, we're going to call him Gomi, because I think his name they, is Gomi. They, that's his nickname for him. Gomi? Okay. Yeah. Close enough. So, Gomi's close to the... First of all, how are they shooting that many rounds and not hitting anybody? And these guys... You remember when uh, when the Nazis came to rescue the, the, the lady, or she, she said... That was she a said very the, quick shootout. Yeah, very quick shootout. And and they basically, like, like off them. None of them got hit. They hit all of them, and just like that. But this situation, they're unloaded and unloaded, and, and they're not hitting anybody. And, and Hank and Gomi, I mean, they're trained... They're trained law enforcement killers, and they're not hitting anything. And this dude that looks like, um, who does he look like? Freaking, um, he looks like, oh, he looks like, uh, Matt Damon. And he's standing up. He's not even ducking behind anything. He's standing up and shooting, Todd. and they're not Todd. hitting Todd. They're not hitting Todd for anything. Like, really? So, I, I don't understand that, but... So you think that Hank's gonna die? That um, it's a guess. Could be a wrong guess. It's, someone has to die. It's not gonna be Jesse. It's not gonna be Walt. So if it has to be someone who would be like, oh no, and the only person I think is big enough to do that on the show, as far as a character wise, is Hank. Somebody big has to be taken out. That's the whole reason why they're doing this long shootout versus that quick shootout from before. Right. So it's a reason for that long shootout. Like, okay, no one's gonna get shot. Somebody's gotta die. Who is it gonna be? That's why I say I think it's gonna be Hank. Well, I guess I guess Hank would have to die then. Mm -hmm. I, I I honestly I don't think that Jesse's gonna die. No. I don't think that. I, I mean, three episodes left. If Hank died. I mean, uh, if uh, if Walt dies, then kill the show right there because we don't care. Yeah. So he's not gonna die. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the Nazis is gonna die. They don't matter, so yeah. I like the I like the Matt Damon dude. Like he's he, not he, a he's Nazi. been on he's been on other shows like Friday Night Lights. He, he's a cool guy. He's not gonna die. I hope he doesn't. I mean, and it doesn't matter if he does. He's not that big of a character that it would matter. You'd be like, oh. But oh, you just you just Damon. start you start you start he, he got he got kind of street cred right. You start to like you want to see what develops between I, him and that lady. Right? I didn't like him because he killed a little boy on the bike. I got over that. I didn't like him. I, I got over that. He was trying too hard. He's like the brown noser of the business. Like he wants to please the boss so much. Let me kill the kid. But you know his whole family is killers. His this uncle, is true. Yeah, this I is mean th that's the first thing that come to his mind is like let me off this kid because. <laughs> if this dude tells somebody we're all going down, I'm not going down. So, man, that's gonna be crazy. I mean, the build up to this whole thing was 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 crazy. The the artistic like nuances that they put into the show is is, is simply like it, it's not action packed, and and they have a lot of down like moments with it's just just pure acting. And if it's not the best acting in the world, then you sh they sure have me fooled because, because um, Walt, I mean. He came from, what is it, Malcolm in the Middle? Malcolm in the Middle, wearing his drawers they, all over the but place. But he's still doing the tidy whities still does They that. kept that. They <laughs> kept the tidy whities I, I that. like that. <laughs> like, like um, what is his name? Uh, Cranston. Uh, what's his first name? Um, uh he was in Argo. I mean, he, he does great jobs on everything he does. He was in um, Red Tails, even though he had a lot smaller part. From what I saw, he he kind of reinvents himself, doesn't typecast himself. He he goes out of outside of his character, like try to challenge himself. And you when the only thing that kept me from watching the show this long um, was because I hated Malcolm in the Middle. And once I gave this show a chance, wow. I was like, holy crap, forget this dad or Malcolm in the Middle. This dude is a boss, right? And it, you have a love-hate kind of feel for Walt. Like, you know he's... You're pissed off at Walt for the stuff that he does. But everyone likes the bad guy. 
But yeah, the bad guy. Yeah. Everybody roots Every, for the bad guy. Like, it's like Casino the, all yeah. over again, right? It, it's, like, it's, it's like Sopranos. Tony Soprano. Who? Tony Soprano will give you a lot of reason to hate his guts. But at the end of the episode, you're like, man, Tony's cool. And I feel that this can go out three times as better than the Sopranos did. Sopranos kind of pissed you off with, mm -hmm. with, 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 the, uh, with the last episode. But I think that this is going to be an epic, epic ending. I feel, I feel also that AMC makes by far... In the cumulative manner, the best shows on TV. You got Walking Dead, yeah. you got Mad Men, you got Hell on Wheels, you got Breaking Bad, and all these shows are popular. Mm -hmm. I mean, massively popular. I'm I'm telling you, when Dish broke the contract with AMC, people were pissed, left Dish, they had to get it back. Mm -hmm. Because of the Walking Dead come back on. Because of Breaking Bad. Stuff like this the shows are so good they're, they're almost on the level if not exceeding uh, HBO they are exceeding Showtime yes. which which leads us to Dexter yes <sighs> yes oh come on does Dexter have to end I, I'm, I'm gonna cry I'm, I'm really gonna cry about it ah man so me and you last year maybe maybe a year and Two months ago, right? Mm -hmm. We started binge watching Dexter. Yeah. And I'm talking about like seasons in a day. All day. Didn't want to go to sleep. I need to watch one more. One more. One more. One more. Yeah. And and you're like, ah, you get to the end of the season. Especially, let's go back to when when uh when his wife got killed. When he was just starting to you 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 first started to see emotion in Dexter. Like, Dexter was becoming more human. And uh, the end of that season was was like, your heart just dropped. You didn't expect it. They did it beautifully, though, because how exactly the way that he got found by his dad mm -hmm. is the exact same way that he found his child. his child sitting in a pool of blood with his mother dead next to him. Not in the same manner of death, but blood everywhere. It's crazy. And you just knew when he turned that corner and you saw red on that floor. I, was, just, hope, I was hoping it was in your aim. Oh, I was like, man. no, they're not going to do that. But at the point, at the point you, you got full on emotionally attached to Dexter. You started to feel what his character kind of felt at that time. And the, the, the cool thing about Dexter, which is different slightly from Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad is, is totally art. Totally art. The camera work, the acting, the, the, the sequences of the shows, the, the foreshadowing, that's great. But Dexter, more than anything, brings you in emotionally, tied to that character. And the way that you see him grow, and, and and try to do better. Try to try to to fit in with society. Try to fight his urges, and even most recently, try to help someone out. And putting himself second. So, I mean, after Laguardia got killed, we thought that. Uh, well, let me let, let's back up. So, as soon as we got into Dexter, so much, so much. Every freaking time it came on, we watched it. Mm -hmm. Religiously. As soon as that happened, we heard that the series was ending. Freaking depressing. Pretty much. And all you can think about is, how is it going to go out? Is Dexter going to die? Is, is, is Deb going to die? Is, is, is Hannah kind of don't care about Hannah as much, but no. is Hannah going to die? Is Quinn going to die? We, we kind of starting to like Quinn, because nobody liked Quinn at first. But you, you kind of getting to the point where, man, Quinn, and especially now that Quinn and Deb is getting back together, you kind of like, oh man, is this going to be, huh? I have a point. I just want to say I miss Dokes. 
I, just, I have to say, be talking about Dexter. I still, <laughs> I still miss Dokes. <laughs> oh, Dokes. Dokes has been gone for a it's while. Like, you still miss Dokes, and Dokes has been gone for years. I miss Dokes. I wow. miss the angry black man on the show. It's like, I miss... Fuck you in my dope's voice. I miss it. I miss dopes. I still do. It broke my heart. Like, no. The, I do. Still. The, the interaction between Dexter and, and Lieutenant Dokes was... It was awesome. <laughs> I love dopes. It was, it was so funny. He had to die. It was so funny. But I was I was hurt. He all, all, all the time, fuck you, Dexter. And, I, and <laughs> I, I loved just, it. Just out of nowhere, just mad face all the time. You saw him smile twice. And that's because and the, the Lord, Lord was, quote, it, close, yeah. close. Yeah. And then, oh, let's talk about LaGuardia. Nobody misses LaGuardia. No, I didn't. First of all. She, was, she was aggravating. It was like, mind your business. Like, okay, take your job a little bit too seriously. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, can you, like, do a New York undercover again? Freaking die. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, I was pissed off at New York undercover when she didn't die and Torres died. Like, you can kill her off. And this they, is true. And, they, and, they, and, they, and, and And here's the thing with these two shows. New York Undercover had a great run. One of the best shows on TV also. Mm -hmm. And a very far ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. The way that that show ended was terrible because they killed off main characters and they kept trying to go with Tommy Ford. And, and, and it was terrible. And they just canceled it. They didn't end the show, they canceled it. A lot of shows, like, um, I mean, they just... They, she did go to Oz after that show. And was pretty good on that. I can't remember if she died. Eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter if she died or not. Yeah. <laughs> so Maria Laguata got killed. And it, and it, and it kind of changed the relationship between Dexter and, and Deb. And they're at the point now where they're like, they're joined at the hip again. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a team again. More than ever. Stronger than ever, actually. Uh, Hannah's in the way. And you can tell that Deb is is kind of hurt that they're thinking about going to South America, and right in time, Quinn steps in, breaks up with uh with a uh, what's her face? What's her face? I don't care where her name no. is. No. Um, and 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 gets back with Deb, so this leaves open the chance for Dexter to get away. Now, here's the turning point. We all thought that Doctor Vogel had something to do with these murders and trying to set Dexter up and we saw the introduction of her son yes. out of freaking nowhere. You didn't expect that. That was good. And and we thought that we're, they were about to team up on Dexter. Mm -hmm. But we were I mean I like wrong. that about the show because I'm usually able to guess and, and, and like okay this is going to happen this is going to happen I can do that movies and shows I love Dexter I love Breaking Bad because it shocks me. Yes. I love it. Shocking off. It's like, oh. And you never see it coming. You you think you have once you think you have it figured out, you're yeah. just wrong. Mm -hmm. And and so many shows are pre so predictable to the point where I mean you watch the show, you love the show, but yeah, you like you, you kinda see what's gonna happen. You you kinda you kinda know what they're gonna say. Mm -hmm. But the storyline is so twisted and my I had this last season started off slow and your expectations kind of dropped for for a while. First three episodes, you're like, well, <laughs> can we get it started? Are they warming up? But my God, I mean, they're, they're kind of going full throttle from from the relationship between Dexter and, and the kid that, I mean, got killed. And mm -hmm. you think and Vogel has something to do with it. And then uh, it turns out to be her son. And then you think, because she wants to build that relationship back with her son, she's going to team up with her son to kill Dexter. Mm -hmm. and then you kind of think that she's being forced to, to trap Dexter, and then you realize that she kind of still feels for Dexter more than her actual biological son because she knows Dexter is a better human being mm -hmm. <laughs> than her, her son. And now she gets killed off. And... That the opportunity that we were talking about where Deb has Quinn that came in and it gets an opportunity for her to have somebody if Dexter chooses to leave with Hannah. Mm -hmm. Now he can't leave because he has, I mean, he feels like he is morally responsible to off this guy. 
And and now there's two episodes left. Yeah, a lot's gonna happen in two episodes. Oh my god. Like like the previews, uh, oh man. So the previews kind of get you to assume things that you end up being totally wrong about. So the assumptions about that, the interaction between um, Vogel's son and Dexter, won't even try to go into that because I'm going to be wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just going to happen. Now all we can do is try to speculate what's going to happen when, like, uh, is Dexter going to get taken into custody after killing this guy because it's going to end up being in, in public? Is Deb, is this dude going to go after Deb because he actually goes into the police station? Is he killing Quinn? Is he is he killing everyone close to Dexter? Does he actually... Oh, this, this is going to suck. I think he wants to expose Dexter more than kill him. But does he kill Dexter's son? And pull to pull him and, and make him make him do it, or does he kill Hannah? Someone, someone really close to Dexter is gonna die, and it's going to pull and Dexter over the, over the edge. Now he went almost over the edge. You can tell when he saw Doctor Vogel, and he wasn't that close to Doctor Vogel. That was so recent. He doesn't have that lifelong emotional tie like he does with Deb. Kill Deb. He's probably gonna off half the people on Earth. Yeah. So the. the uh, it's, it's so rough. Like how? You, you don't gonna know end? how they're gonna end it, and that's the that's the best part. But I don't want it to end. No. Like I'm a grown man, and I, I'm not ashamed to say, if they kill Dexter, I will cry manly tears. <laughs> Get old man cry. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. No, I'm gonna expose it. I'm gonna record you while you cry. They're not gonna kill Dexter. <laughs> they're not. They can't. But what if they do? They can't. But what and going back to Breaking Bad, we have to kill Walter White. They can't. Some characters you just can't kill off. Now I I did hear where the character that plays Jesse, which is totally all into the show. He he loves the show that he's on. Yeah. He said there is no way that they're gonna leave any room open to for them to do any spinoff or anything. Yeah. So that leads me to believe that they may if they said they, that they, they oh might kill him. Uh, and and he might just be leading you into like a, a goose chase mentally, mm -hmm. but wow. Brian Cranston, that's his name. Brian Cranston. Jesse's character. No, uh, Walt. Okay. I don't know. He's uh, gonna forever be Walt to me. I don't care. Walter White I don't Heisenberg. Care. Heisenberg. I don't care what Heisenberg. his real name is. But but going back, we're flipping back and forth here. But yes, we are. but but going back to Breaking Bad when they did that. That future shot of him going back to his house after it's been condemned and him going to get the rice in and he has that huge freaking gun in the trunk. Yeah. And and his neighbor, his neighbor sees him and she she drops everything like she saw a ghost. Like, is that is that what happens to are they gonna is that gonna be the last few scenes of the show and he just rides off and they're just gonna leave it open? It, but Contrary to what Jesse is saying, that they're not going to leave it open. So for, someone, so a big character, has to die or get locked up or the cancer to kill him. I don't know. But he also has fake hair, you see. So, so his he, hair grew back. Yeah, that's right. His hair didn't yeah. grow back. He still he has his kind of like toupee or whatnot. Okay. Because, you know, his hair is different. Yeah. It's, it's flat. This was kind of spiky. Um, and... He doesn't have the goatee and everything. He just changed his look altogether. So was he in witness protection? Does he convince Hank to put him in witness protection? And he gets out because something else happened? And he's going to kill somebody else? He only gets the ricin to kill. Now who is he going to kill is the question. There's so many possibilities. This, this People, I'm telling you. This, this, Maybe they're shows. leaving it between him and Jesse. Because, I mean... Jesse wants him dead, but not really wants him dead. Jesse Jesse is pissed off at the fact that he poisoned the kid. Mm -hmm. I understand why Walt did it. It, it was kind of shysty. But Walt does... Walt did do it correctly. The kid didn't die. Was, but it was still wrong. I, I was, was shocked. Wrong. I was like, wow. But 
the fact that Walt saved Jesse's life, and what Hank, what Hank and Gomi said at the table with with um, with uh, with Jesse is right before they put the bug on him is uh, no, he really cares about you, Jesse. You know he does. And, and Jesse, his anger wouldn't let him see that. Like so many things that Walt does to Jesse is is really messed up, but he makes up for it later. Like he 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 seems ah. to treat him better than his own son at times though. He does. He does. It's like Jesse's the son he didn't have. But he didn't buy Jesse a car. This is true. But, <laughs> but he, probably, he, he did save Jesse's money. He did. He didn't want to get see Walt oh man. Walt is is has so many dynamics to his character. To where when you think he's just the, the, the biggest asshole ever, he shows compassion for Jesse. Like Jesse was like, Why why are you always uh trying to trying to work me? And Which he does. He he does. <laughs> and and Walt just I don't know He if, works everybody. I don't I don't know if Walt was was basically trying to play him again, but you know, he, he embraced him and and Jesse was crying in his arm. Hold on, let's talk about Saul. What? <laughs> Saul is the coolest freaking guy ever. That lawyer's the devil. He, he, I heard, is going to get a spinoff. For just a character? Oh, really? That, okay, I can see that. that he has a, he's a big enough character. He is. He, his, his, his personality His, his is. sideway hair is killing me, though. That, 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 that part, bang hanging yeah. down. He, he's like, he's the epitome of a douchebag lawyer. Yes. But Walt has messed up everyone's freaking life on this show. He had he had a fine to do life and he was doing his his crappy advertisement and lawyer stuff and give people he was kinda like Bill Green kinda dude. And he turned them into the lawyer that protects a freaking drug lord. And and when Jesse beat him up and we he was sitting in the car talking to Walt and <laughs> about what do you want to do about Jesse? <laughs> the, the the interaction between them was priceless. Notice we haven't talked about Gus, Frank. I loved him. Gus, he was Frank, badass. Dude, the dude got blown up. Came out the room, half a face, <laughs> straight his tie. tie. Then he fell. Out. Then he fell out like like he, for a moment went, you didn't think he was dead. I was like, oh, um. How did you survive that? Yeah, he went out like a boss. He he did. Yes, he, he went did. Out like a boss. He killed cartel people. Yeah. He got his business intact. The old the the person that you think that would not take him out <laughs> is Walt. I mean, Walt's taking people out like bosses. Like this. Like the cartels can off this dude, but but Heisenberg. Did. But Heisenberg did, and and that scene where. Um, I don't know if he was considered a cartel guy, but when he met that the new guys in the desert, that want he wanted to strike a deal with them, and he asked, "What's your name?" Mm -hmm. He's like, "What? What did he say?" He's like, uh, you "Just go ahead and say it. You, you know, you know who? You yeah. know my name." He's like, "You Heisenberg? You damn right I am!" <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> like, holy crap! He's a badass. Like this, this show just makes you. Every episode, you're like, "Dang, this show just got better." When you don't think the show can get better, it gets better, and I can I I can only imagine how <laughs> how good the ending to this series is going to be. Oh man! But just in time for. Walking Dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> so they played it right. They, they're doing it right. They played it right. So, uh, Dexter, Breaking Bad. Sorry if we did any spoilers. You should have caught up. Like everybody told us to. Sorry. Yeah, Whatever. the thing is, I just started watching Breaking Bad, uh, what, a week ago? I finished yeah. all the seasons in a week. Yeah, you, you had, you had shut-in service with Breaking I Bad. I really did. It was less than a week, actually, but it, I, got, I got it done. It was done. Five it was seasons. In less than a week. 
It was that good. Holy crap. Yeah, my eyes hurt. I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was it was great and I'm waiting to see if there's ever gonna be like shows that are like this. Like these these are groundbreaking shows. Like this has been a how many shows that have been on TV? Many, 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 many shows. Been on TV for for years. And never have you I would say since the Sopranos, you you you've not you've not dreaded the end of a show like that since the Sopranos. And honestly, bold statement, both of these shows might be mentioned later in time as better than Sopranos. I, that's I that's a bold statement. Because yeah. when uh when James K. Mofini died, the whole world kind of paid respects to Tony Soprano. People that didn't know this dude's name knows Tony Soprano. Tony Soprano was in other stuff post Sopranos. And all you know, Tony Soprano. When he saw him and kill him killing him softly with Brad Pitt, he got to the table with his glasses and his suit on, Tony Soprano. When you look back at Crimson Tide and you see his, his character, he was like a supporting actor. He was like this fat dude on, on the ship and he was talking shit to Denzel all, and, he, and he couldn't wait till they took over the ship and Den, Denzel was like out. And he still, even though it was before The Sopranos, you look back at the movie like, that's Tony Soprano. <laughs> like, is, is Brian Cranston going to be that guy? But but he's so versatile in his roles. Is he going to be known as Walter White for the rest of his life? I think this character is that big that I personally will forever see him as Walter White, a.k.a. Heisenberg. Now, I can't see him as anything else. Even when we watched Argo, I was like, Walter White! White. Heisenberg. Yeah. So. Now how about Dexter? Michael C. Hall. See, that's the only role I have seen him in. You said he was on a... Was Six feet under. And I never he saw that show. He played a gay guy, so... Hey, so not... Yeah, yeah okay. I, I never saw that show. But the part he played, it was pretty good. And it was funny when he talked to um, David Letterman about it. <laughs> he told his, his parents that he was going to he's gonna play Dexter. He's going to kill people. And he... <laughs> paraphrasing, he said that his parents said, Well, at least you're not a gay guy again. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. I mean, this dude, he committed to the role. I, I, he committed to it. Yeah. Uh, How long was that show on, though? Was it on long? I don't know. I didn't watch it that much. Okay. I, I, w I would assume so. I honestly can't say. But I was I was not hurt when that show got turned off. Okay. Um, uh, but Dexter, <laughs> like, how many how many of these actors are going to move on to other things? Like, we we already know Hank and Marie from Breaking Bad are on two shows. Marie's going to be on Michael J. Fox show, playing Michael J. Fox's wife. So she's going to do comedy. Yeah. Okay. That'll be interesting. Hank basically acts the same way he did on Breaking Bad, kind of goofy okay. on uh, on The Dome. Haven't watched that. No interest in watching that. It's called The Dome. Didn't we see the Simpsons movie do this with The Dome? And I hated the Simpsons movie for the same reason, because they ended up in a freaking dome over the town. And... So that's what the show was about? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no interest in it. Not going to watch it. Okay, next. Great. Now, if it turns out to be a successful show, I don't know how to go play that. It's a dome. You're in the dome. If, hey, if that show becomes a classic, whatever. I'll watch it then. Skeptical now. I hate until proven different. I don't know if Jesse is going to do anything. I think that's why he's loving the show so much. Walt Jr.? This dude is living a life right now. Yeah. skylar has been on a lot of stuff, I've heard. So I've heard. I haven't seen her. I, won't, I don't recognize her, but I've heard she's been on a, on, on a lot of stuff. I don't remember seeing her or anything, but okay. Uh, Hannah, she's probably going to go back to modeling. She's some type of freaking Australian model or something. I don't care. Okay. Uh, Deb, she curses a lot. She's, I, she's probably going to be on another... But she was in movies before. Well, one movie that I... Terrified me. Movie. Yeah, uh, Exorcism of Emily Rose. So when I see Deb, I see that. But she's, yeah, I see her as Deb now a little bit more. Yeah. But, yeah. Quinn. 
had a small part on um, Dark, Dark Knight Night Rises yeah. at the end as the cop that blew up the freaking bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's very small part. <laughs> Doctor Vogel, I don't, I don't like her face. I, yeah, I don't like her face. She like she her. has that. She she has the face like Angela Lansbury did right before she died. Right, she did. Sorry if you if you're not dead. Sorry, but I think Killing she's dead. People? I think she's dead. But she she I has that British know. face like like it's sunken and kind of. I just want to slap her, her face. Is, I don't like her. How do you, like how would you get old? Did your lips go in? Like how did it go in? Like I know you your skin. How does it go she, she in? All, she's dried up. How does your lips hug your teeth like that? I don't, I don't understand. Like a prune. Yeah, like how does she? I bet she can't play the flute. <laughs> She can't play the flute because you know you have to poke your lip out over the over the thing to play the flute. She she can't play. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just don't like Bobo. Well, I mean, I mean she. Her face looks dirty. Her 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 lipstick is like. Like off the vocal. I'm sorry. <laughs> you I don't like her face. Don't like her face. Can't see her being in anything else. She's just, she just looks like she's on something. She probably is. Like her, like her eyes look like she she has done drugs or or smoked heavily. She she looks like you ever seen one of those people, one of those old white women that have like, like their face has been pulled back, and wrinkles like like a tiger has scratched her face, and then she smoked so much till her eyes, are not a distinguishable color that God gave you, but it's like. It's like you you've been dipped in some some uh, some some freaking toxic substance and you came out like you're on Captain Planet and and you know the uh, the freaking uh, toxic dude and his eyes are like yellowish and and I'm like Ugh. like you, she looks wrong she looks terrible I'm glad she can act because she looks terrible God British people get it together. I mean, like her her lips were hugging her teeth so much, she her, she probably has wooden teeth, you know, because British people do that. They have bad. They have teeth. terrible teeth. I have never Sorry. seen a British person that has straight teeth yet. I hope no one that's British is listening. We apologize. Get if you are, you got you got dental insurance. Do get, something with it. Get braces. Braces. I don't care if you're sixty five. Get braces. Invisalign. It I mean, works. yeah. <laughs> Shit. I mean, come on. Like this is ridiculous. Okay, like. We're going off on a tangent on Google. I, I don't know how far, how long we have been recording, but... Okay, I thought her son wanted to have sex with her. Was I the only one thinking that? I'm, it just came, it came to me very Bates-like. Ah. It, 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 it kind of, it was weird. Speaking of the Bates of Motel, I hate that freaking show now. That show had so much potential, but I hate it. I, I have no interest in watching that show again. I didn't even see the last episode because you said it was so bad. It uh, it was depre- It it was so disappointing, and and these two shows, I mean, Dexter and Breaking Bad, they they are so much like light years better that you're like, yeah, I don't care about it. I I just don't understand. But what were we talking about? Um, what were we talking about? We I, went on a tangent about yeah. vocal, but I think we should lay off vocal. Vogel. You're talking about characters that might have freaking Vogel, man. A future. Golly, really, Quinn. Yeah, we already talked about Quinn. Quinn. Oh, he has he has that Boston accent, so he's probably gonna be in some Boston movies, probably with Ben Affleck. Yeah. So I can see that happening. He has that rough face too. He, he, I think he's. Um, he has that I'm on drugs face. Probably. Yeah. I hope he wasn't on meth. I don't think meth, but I'm pretty sure cocaine. Okay. Pretty heroin, sure. maybe? Not heroin? Maybe no. not that heavy, but he's on something. Yeah. But I like Quinn, it's alright. Quinn's cool. He's a cool crackhead. <laughs> he drives a nice car. He he reminds me of Mike Lowry. He, like someone left him a trust fund and he has all this cool stuff. Like how ma- how much does Miami PD get paid? Apparently they get paid a lot. I, I mean I'm telling but you. But remember he's like kind of a slightly dirty cop too, so well, that was in the past. 
Yeah, he, he got away from that. Thing. And they just never mentioned the fact that Deb was in love with her brother anymore. I just found that. Yeah, they just left that. Yeah, they just left that alone. Did, I guess they didn't want to make it too weird because they were going to close it. Yeah, Maybe it might bring enough. it back. They could bring it back. It could uh, bring it back. Nah, I don't, you think, don't so. think so. The, hence why they're using Quinn again. I think people might have found it a little bit weird that she fell in love with her stepbrother. But um, That was kind of weird. Yeah, it was weird. It was like... I, I couldn't see where that was going. But you think that really happens? Yeah, I'm sure it does. It's gross, it's but because awesome. it's like, oh, we're not blood. You're not what? We're not blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jerry Springer. Never yeah, mind. never mind. Answer that question already, Jerry. Thank you. That was freaking terrible. <laughs> that was one of the worst shows on TV. I, I just want to say that. But you couldn't turn away. It was like a train wreck. You couldn't turn away. Remember in high school? Yeah. We used to go into a trailer. We used to hope that our bus was late so we could watch Jerry Springer in the ROTC trailer. That's horrible. And we... <laughs> it, it, it was freaking... Oh, my God. It, it was freaking terrible. But anyway, those two shows. Uh, got anything else to add? No, I do not. Oh. <sighs> It's going to be sad when it's over. We're going to have to do another one of these shows once both of the shows go off. It's going to so, be probably crying, you know. You're going to cry. I'm going to cry. Most of the episode. I'm going to cry. A lot. I'm probably crying, too. I'll laugh at you if you do because you're a man who can't cry. I, who says? Me. Eh, okay. I guess, I guess that says it. I can't cry because no manly tears? No, not over a show. I can cry. You have to console me while I cry. So I'll cry in the bathroom, you not know. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm doing mainly cry. I'll be like, I got something in my eye. Okay. A so, pepper. Pepper in my eye. No. What would be your best guess of who does die? Do you think they're gonna actually kill off Walter White for breaking back? I don't think so. Do you think they're gonna kill Dexter? There's a 50-50 chance that they're going to kill Dexter. They cannot leave that open either. They have to. There has to be closure on both of these shows. Someone significant on each show has to die. If not the main character, either Dexter's going to jail, death penalty, he escapes, or he's dead. Those three. So I guess that wouldn't make it 50%. No, really. So two of those options, he gets away. <laughs> I'm not good at math. But anyway, yeah, it's okay. But I, I hope he doesn't die. I, I actually hope, well, it's going to be bittersweet. Someone close to him is going to, someone significant is going to die. I think him and Harrison are going to end up fine. Or they might flash forward, which I'm going to hate because they did that with Weeds. If they flash forward. That was um, a disappointment. And, and Harrison, if if, if uh, Dexter gets killed, Harrison might turn into Dexter and avenge him. So just like Dexter. Uh, here's born great. The born and blood thing. That Just like Dexter avenged his mother's death by killing the guy that killed his mother. Mm -hmm. They might flash forward to Harrison killing uh, Vogel's son that possibly kills Dexter. Possibly. Whew. So much possibilities. They did that for a reason. That they that is, I think, some foreshadowing. I uh, it's, it's so much. It's so much. I I uh, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to need something else to watch on Sundays. Breaking Bad. Freaking yeah. bad. But that's um, House of Lies is coming back on. You, you need to watch House of Lies, catch up on that. That that's it's not the same level of show at all. That's why I'm not it's like, not at all, but it is <laughs> it is what it is. I mean it's better than nothing. Yeah. It's Don Cheadle. Everybody loves Don Cheadle. Better than Terrence Howard for damn sure. I Where think I'm, you're racist against light skinned men. <laughs> think I'll be sure looking at <laughs> What's it doing? Talk about it, man. Talk about it, man. I want that trick. I hate that movie. So, hey, 
you want to join me for another show talking about cartoons from our childhood? Yes. So that'll be your next show. The one we team up. I'll probably have a few shows in between and talking about tech stuff. You know, tech stuff. I'll probably, I'll probably have some shows talking about football. You know, like football. Not interested. Uh, so, yeah. I guess this was going to conclude the Charlie Maverick show for September 11, 2013. Live from Atlanta. But you're hearing it not live. But we live. Because I didn't stop this thing. So we live. Uncut. You know what I'm saying? Sounds very angry black man. That's, I'm, I'm an angry black man. Okay. America, world, you know, I'm an angry black man. You ain't supposed to agree. I didn't say anything. Of course you did. Your eyes said it all. All your eyes said when I ever at first look upon your face, mm. you had judgment. It's okay. Say bye to the world. Bye, world. Charlie Mary Show. Out.